morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> it's a little later than normal for this vibe, but yeah, it's like af afternoonish. No, kind of. I mean, it's ten thirty. It's like brunch time. <laughs> but it's been a rough morning so far, so we've been kind of busy. Haven't had really a chance to get this done yet. No, yeah, we've been. We woke up this morning and like started hitting it right away. <laughs> yes, but also this morning I woke up and some really, really bad news for me, yeah. for everybody. Yeah. So this morning we go out and do our morning chores like we do every single day, feeding the rabbits, the dogs, cats, chickens, all that stuff. Go out to the chickens and I'm looking and there's a chicken underneath, underneath the coop just hanging out and all the other ones are by the gate and I look, I look closer, go in there. And I find Speckles under the coop dead. Yeah. Speckles is my favorite chicken. That's the one that plucked my eye and... Yeah, and I did a vibe, I think, like a couple weeks ago, and that was the one that was like on my shoulder, like the, flew up on me. Yeah, the brown yeah. and white one. Yeah. And she was, you know, my best friend chicken. Yeah. You know? Your favorite. My favorite. <laughs> so I'm really bummed out about that because she was so nice. She always jumped up on me, like Roxanne said. She was the first one to ever come up here. Let me pet her and hang out. She'd be no problem. I'd carry her around sometimes and she'd be all looking around and different things. So very unfortunate. I don't know why she died. I, yeah. It happens with chickens. Yeah, there. I mean, it wasn't because there was no food or no water because they have their little food thing. That yeah. was, it's got food in it and their water, which Every, it's full. Um, yeah, everything's full. Yeah. Um, it's weird like that with chickens. Jeff. Bobblehead Homestead, he's told me before that, you know, sometimes they just die. They have heart attacks or... Yeah, some kind of health issues that you don't know about. Yeah, you don't know. I mean, you said the day before... Um, she wasn't eating. Yeah, you said she was kind of being a little weird and different than normal. So. Yeah, day before yesterday, I'm feeding all the chickens and everything's fine. Yeah. And uh, she'd come walking by and in the morning, you know, when we're feeding them... They're every, crazy. Everybody's going crazy and she's <laughs> yeah. just like standing there looking at the food, not doing nothing, and walks off. And I'm like, okay, I guess she's not hungry. Yeah. Didn't think anything of it, but... I mean, she might have been sick. Yeah. yeah. Could have been sick. Yeah. And on top of that, also, a baby chick died. Yeah. Oh. I, at least with the baby chick, we kind of, I think, know what might have happened. Um, a couple days ago, we went out there, and... It was like really low to the ground and it had like its wings all popped out and it was kind of like wobbling around, but it was, yeah. but it would stay in one spot. It was eating, drinking, everything was yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, but we made sure like it had food right next to it and I, you know, made sure it had water and stuff. And then um, yesterday we went out there and it was raining and I, we went out there and it was like covered in mud and soaking wet and I'm like, oh, it stayed out in the rain. It didn't even run inside to for yeah. cover. Yeah. So I picked it up. Put it inside the little hoop coop thing. It was, I mean, it just, the chicken, like, was just sitting. It was weird. It was sitting on its butt. Yeah. With and its then, feet forward. Yeah, like, sitting, Um, it kind of reminded me, like, a Yoda. Yeah. The way it was sitting. It was very, it was very weird. Yeah, and, um, but it was still eating and drinking and stuff, and then, um, I mean, I had a feeling it was going to kind of die. I had a feeling, too. And then but we went out Hoping there. for the best. Yeah. And it was one of the multi-colored... Pretty ones. Really pretty ones. I think it. I think it was a rooster. I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's what I was getting at too. Yeah. I yeah. think that might have been what happened because um, it. I think it was a rooster too. And we see them out there all the time, like fighting each other. The roosters. At least that's what we think they're. <laughs> the roosters. Well, they're spurring each other. So yeah. I just, think they're they're learning, right? Yeah. They're and, getting older. And um, so either he got like I don't know if he like broke his leg. I mean I I kind of like picked him up and was like messing with his legs a little bit and like. One of them I couldn't even really move. So could have, could have broke his leg somehow. I mean, he could have got his leg stuck um, in the fence. in the chicken wire and yeah. tried to get away and broke its leg. I mean, that happens too. Don't know. Very unfortunate. Yeah. You know, that's the first baby chick um, out of all these that we lost. That. Um, yeah, since we since we moved them in there. Yeah, control. So we started taking care of them. Yeah. yeah. First one we lost, so that's unfortunate. Um, and then Speckles. And Speckles. I'm yeah. very upset about Speckles. Speckles is from the main first flock, and yeah. she's the first one we've lost out of that. Well, actually, the first uh, female we've ever lost. Yeah, uh, the first hen that we've lost was Speckles. Yeah, we had a, a male in there. We lost the original Medina. Medina, yeah. But we that lost, was shortly uh, after. Twinkle. 
Yeah, but he was in the other flock. No, I know, but I'm saying from our original chickens, first ever getting them, right? Yeah. Ever. We lost Twinkle, we lost the original Medina, and then we lost one um, when he got picked on to death. Yeah, when we separated him. Yeah, he got picked on to death yeah. from all the roosters. Yeah, he was um, like... It, so we've only lost those three. Yeah, and out of that... Out of, speckles. Yeah, but, out of that flock, so... We've only lost four out of the original 33 um, from not getting processed, right? Four. Yeah. So it's very <laughs> upsetting. It is. I already missed speckles. Yeah, and um, the new little baby chick, I mean, that's like the worst part is... I guess kind of like watching and knowing that they're gonna die. Nothing you knew about. Yeah, it. And there was nothing we do. You I, can't take it to the to the vet. Yeah, and I tried. You know, you know um, when we went out there and like it was covered in mud and wet. I mean, like I said, I moved it into the coop. I brought its own little water. Can't really give it its own food because all the other chickens would have went over there and just been like, oh, it's all mine. Yeah, we made sure it ate though, but. Yeah, we would put food in front of it, and I was fighting all the other chickens off so it could eat. And, <laughs> That's the bad thing about having animals, even cats, dogs, any kind of animals, there's a chance they're going to die. So we know that uh, it's inevitable. Yeah, it's part of country living. Yep. I mean, it is part But of I will say this, I think, obviously I don't know 100%, but out of the baby chicks, there is a white one. Yeah, that looks right? just like... Looks just like... Um, speckles. Well, no, it looks like clucky in the head. Yeah. But it's the exact same colors as speckles. Yeah. So I think it could be speckles daughter yeah i think yeah carrying the genes on. yeah so if that's the case that's really cool then i'll have the next generation from speckles so yeah it's either speckles or clucky one of those two yeah pretty sure it's speckles though because brown and white and clucky is black and white yeah and but she's got a lot more knows? white than Cl uh, than speckles did yeah so but who knows yeah. you know how that works with, with genes chicken genes or yeah, it could be all kind of stuff so yeah. but but I'm going to think that that's what I'm going to think yeah so we have I'm going to think it's speckles yeah kids. a living bloodline of speckles. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe you can train that one and sh it can become like, just like speckles. Fly up on you. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be but, back. I'm going to go outside. I got I to gotta get some stuff done today. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. But, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we are hanging out in the kitchen, guys. You are chilling on the island right now, which is pretty nice, I must say. <laughs> but we actually went out to our tent today. Um, I was kind of cleaning up in here a little bit and I'm gonna actually start putting some of my stuff inside the island I have not done that yet um, so I was kind of cleaning up and I, I was talking to Anthony I was like man we should go out to our tent and get some um, things that I think we can pull out now which is really nice so we've officially kind of unpacked one of our first totes for the kitchen other than like stuff that I've been pilfering through over the last three years almost but I ended up getting my they're really filthy. I got to still clean them. But I got my dinner plates out. They're a nightmare. Yeah, see, I, I got to scrub these. But nightmare before Christmas plates. Um, I got these as a Christmas present um, for my sister. Uh, this was actually a while back. And um, I've never really used these. I've been kind of like, you know, savoring them so they don't get ruined or anything. But I think I'm going to bring them out and use them in the house. Um, we don't really have like real plates. We just have like plastic plates and stuff. And then we use a lot of paper plates. So like having a nice dinner on a nice real plate, I like that. So I dug those out. This is the main objective of why I wanted to go out to the tent today. I wanted to get my canisters out. <laughs> I wanted to put my flour and my sugar because right now I have them in five gallon buckets and they're just inside the laundry room. So anytime I bake, which is like almost every single week, I got to run out to the, the, uh, laundry room grab the stuff and bring it back in here which is fine but this is just going to make it a little bit more convenient i wait oh i'm going to grab it fill this up and then move on <laughs> and then i got another one here i did have two i did have two of these like big ones like this one for sugar and one for flour but my other one broke it broke during the whole move process so that was kind of a bummer didn't really expect to see that when i opened that tote but i'm sure that's not the first and the only thing I'm going to find in those totes that got broke over the years of just moving them around and having them everything in a tote. So, <clears throat> yep. And then I got this, uh, my napkin holder, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I forgot all about this. <laughs> and then one thing that I actually kind of forgot that I had 
and I found it. It's kind of like shopping, guys, when you go out to your totes. Like, you haven't really seen them. I've been inside the totes, but, like, normally if I'm, like, in the totes, I'm, like, looking for something. So I just kind of glance through really fast. But, um, plus I had to get the ones off the bottom, which those ones we haven't really looked at. So I ended up finding my Bundt cake pan, which is super cool because... I think I've literally used this thing one time um, since I got it. Um, my mom bought this for me, um, like one of the last years we, we were in Vegas. And I think I made, I think I might even have made like pineapple upside down cake in it. And that was like the only time and the only thing I've ever made in it. So I got my bun cake back out pan. So I'm excited to use that too. So I feel like I just hit like the lottery guys and won all kinds of cool stuff from my own, uh, from my own uh, tent, you know. <laughs> it was uh, it was funny because we were in there and I have like a tote specifically for like all my little knickknack things that like I had inside our house in Vegas and you know I had some really I have some really cool little knickknack stuff and we found that tote and I almost was half tempted to drag it out and start kind of going through it and maybe putting some decor stuff in the house, but. I don't have any shelves yet. Um, we have plans to put shelves up in here. I have like plans for like where I want to put some pictures. I did buy some things for the house that I do want to get hung up, but I mean, we're still kind of like working on the house. So I'm kind of waiting until we get to that point where we're like, okay, we won't have to move this out of the way or this won't be a bothersome if it's here, um, you know, if we put this up now so I can put all my stuff out. So just a little bit longer on that and then I can, you know, start making this house kind of more homey, you know? <laughs> Slowly but surely. Yeah, and uh, so Anthony today uh, is going to... Uh, I got computer work to do too. Yeah, though. he's got some computer work, so he's going to tackle this because this really shouldn't take that long. Of course, those are our famous words, we always say. <laughs> But, um, so you guys know we got the little microwave right here. We do plan on putting a big microwave up above the stove. We just haven't bought one yet. They're really expensive. People have asked me this yeah. on our videos. Like, are you guys ever going to put a microwave right here? We want to. I would do it right now. But they're over 400 bucks. Brand yeah. new. Yeah. And, um. So it's like. I know. So got other expenses. I was going to say, it's, it's another, you know, we got to prioritize what's kind of important to us. Well. You know, um, we do have a microwave, so it's not like we don't have a microwave. If we didn't have a microwave, then we probably really would very consider getting one for up above here right now. Yeah, but we have this little small one. Yeah. And this big, giant open space, so nothing permanent. I'm just going to make a little shelf. Yeah. <laughs> just put it, we have power up here. We're going to have to drill a hole. Yeah, for the power for the actual microwave. Anyway. Yeah. So that's already coming in the future. So I told Roxanne, I said, how about we I just put like a little shelf right here? We could put the microwave out of the way, off of the counter. I'll drill the hole because we have to do that anyway. Yeah. Right? For the, the main microwave. And let's just get this off of your counter to have a little bit more counter space. Um, and she was all for it. So yeah. she's like, heck yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Of course, I said you're gonna make a mess out of my kitchen. I just wiped down all the counters, no, I'm not. all the cabinets. I told her I'm not. When I drill a hole, I told her grab a towel, <laughs> hold it right here. I'll drill, and all the shavings will fall on the towel, and you can go fluff it off outside. We'll be. I know. <laughs> I'll help clean it anyway. Yeah, I know. I was just saying. Yeah. Because I, I did. I scrubbed the cabinets down this morning. Yeah. Um. Just because I, I do. I keep them clean because they aren't white yeah which is one of those things that was kind of like do we paint them white do we not so do we have more white paint like this paint yeah there's some in there is that roller still good um yeah it should be still okay it's been wrapped in that plastic we can just paint these real quick and now we're gonna paint something <laughs> okay you want your kitchen to look good i know you? but you like <laughs> um I mean, yeah, we can paint them. I'm just getting some thoughts. We got some stuff to do. I like to stay busy. Yeah. I feel really guilty a lot of times when I'm just sitting in Thunderdome, like doing computer stuff and not outside working. 
because there are so much to do all the time, little tiny things right now, and some really big projects coming down the pipe. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hopefully really soon we can start working on those bigger projects. Yeah, I mean, got some stuff outside, we got a whole front deck and room we gotta build, we got fencing to do still, Yeah, it's so funny, much stuff. Real quick, because I seen on the last vibe, somebody was asking, um, you guys should build a deck across the whole front so you guys can hang out out front and drink your coffee and look at that view. Yes. <laughs> I know. That is our plan. Uh, but as just like everything else, you know, things cost money and take time. So we're trying to... <laughs> but the front, though, it's not going to be a deck. You guys have to wait. We're doing something a little different. Yeah. Business, though. We are going to screen it in a little stuff, but we have some plans we've been looking at on how we want to do it and what we want out in the front. Yeah. So it's not, um, so it looks nice. Obviously it's got to match the flow and the feng shui of everything kind of thing. Yeah. And then we have, uh, <laughs> plans for the back deck still. Cause that's not complete. No. If you guys didn't know that it's not done. No, but we were, I mean, once we stop, once the deck was walkable, there's still no railings on it, which is yeah. And the whole... at first I was very worried about it cause it's high and it's kind of unsafe. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know, no um... railing, but. But I was going to say is the part of the reason why we even built the deck to begin with when we did was because we needed the laundry room. Yeah. Because we needed a place for the hot water so we could start running the water in the house. Yeah. We so, need a centralized area for that. Thing. Yeah. So we so, had to get it done. Yeah. So I was like, well, we probably should build a laundry room. And that's why the deck wasn't completely done, if you guys remember, for a while. And then one day we were like, we're going to just finish it. We have all yeah. the wood. Might as well do it. Might as well do it. So we did. And then it's still not done. But like you said, it's it's. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have materials to get it done. Yeah, we bought all the material to finish it. Um, so that's one of those things that's on our list now. So It takes... Doing all this, guys, like... And a lot of you guys have been watching us since Vegas. So you guys understand this. Yeah. I mean, maybe some people that haven't watched all those old videos from the beginning till now. But doing all of this that we've done, that Melanie and Gary's done, you know, on this property... It's taken a lot of time, as you guys know. Well, an interview. We, we moved here, as you guys know, and there were this was forest. Yeah. Nothing here. No power here. No water. I mean, none of the, the land was cleared. You guys know. Nothing was here. Zero. There was a little tiny cleared spot where the campground is, and that's that. That's all that was here. Yeah. And so to do things, to build a big area like this that we're doing it takes a lot of time and we want to get everything done like right now uh it's just not feasible well, in life for anybody yeah, unless, yeah. unless you're rich well i was gonna say and too. you just pay somebody to do it go over to that, do that yeah you can get things you can have a whole homestead built in six months with a log cabin and a waterfall and whatever you want hunting lodge six months well, this. yeah, you have to have tons of this. I was just going to say, for us, it's a lot of the just the physical labor of everything. We can buy the materials all day long, but most of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying in general. Speak, yeah, but then get, it's just it's Roxanne just, and us doing it. Yeah, and then it's or like Rock and us, Roxanne and me doing it. Yeah, so just us. Just gotta. I was just telling Anthony, you gotta do a work work life balance, right? A work I think balance. I think we do really good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, well, I think I think we do. Yeah. It was funny because I was in here cleaning the cabinets and Anthony, I was talking to him about the canister things and he's like, well, let's go out to the tent and get it right now. I'm like, well, hold up. I'm cleaning these cabinets right now. It's all about time management, okay? I'm, I'm like, all right, well. This is a priority for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I started cleaning something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I finished that and then we went out to the tent and I said, see, it's off our list now. Well, I'm glad you found these though because now you don't have to use these five gallon buckets all like every time now. Yeah, no, I was... That's gonna be flour, I'm assuming. She yeah, this I mean, one. You already showed them up? Yeah, I already talked about those. The and smaller one you're gonna use what? Probably for sugar right now. Sugar. It's um, fine with me. Yeah. Like flour. Yeah. And then see, once you move this. That's why I'm thinking about that. I was like, where are you well, gonna put these? I'm gonna put the bread maker over there. Yeah, whatever you want. Bread yeah, box. put it right here. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna make another loaf of bread today. <laughs> yes, you do. Alright, well, we got things to do. Yep. <laughs> um I'm trying to stay positive about speckles, guys, as you can yeah. tell, but um, it is what it is. But we're I mean, it is what it is. I mean, thankfully, <laughs> trying to stay positive. yeah, thankfully it wasn't like a vicious attack and we no. lost all of our flock or anything Still like that. Still good vibes, guys. Oh, yeah. Good, good vibes. Yep, yeah, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Right. Last Friday of summer. Yep. Oh, yeah, and we are <laughs> we are going somewhere tomorrow for this weekend. 
be nice. Yeah. So yeah. let you guys know. Yep, we got plans. This we got plans this weekend. We're so. gonna end the summer with la one last hurrah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Yes. Stay safe. Stay motivated. Have a great day. Positive vibes your direction. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.